Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about Gauss Jacobi method. So, let us read the question. What is the question? A manufacturing plant is trying to optimize its production schedule using the Gauss Jacobi method. Okay. The system of equations represent the problem is 10x plus y plus z is equal to 12, 2x plus 10y plus z equal to 13, 2x plus 2y plus 10z equal to 14. Using the initial guess x equal to 0, y equal to 0, z equal to 0, perform three iteration of gauss jacobi method and discuss the convergence with exact solution x equal to 1, y equal to 1, z equal to 1. So, uh, the initial value we should take is x equal to 0, y equal to 0 and z equal to 0. Okay. And uh, how many iterations we have to do? We have to do three iterations. So, let us go to the problem. So, let us go to the problem. So, what are the equations given? 10x plus y plus z equal to 12 okay and 2x plus 10y plus z equal to 13 and 2x plus 2y plus 10z equal to 14 these are the three equations given let us change these equations so first we have to check whether this x value the, the, the coefficient of x value should be greater than or equal to these y value coefficients of y values and z values such that you can check 10 mod 10 matlab minus or plus not here 10 should be greater than or equal to mod 1 plus mod 1 see you can see 10 is greater than here 1 and 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so 10 is greater than 2 and here the middle one coefficient should be greater and in last one the last one coefficient should be greater see in this x value should be greater than y value and the sum of y value and z value here y the value of y the coefficient of y should be greater than the coefficient of x sum of coefficient of x and z and here the coefficient of z value should be greater than the sum of coefficient of x and y here it is greater right if it is not there we just we have to change the equations like if uh, here in the middle one it is greater then we have to change it to down okay so let us write the equation here for 10x for the first equation 10x equal to we can write 12 minus y minus z right for x we can write now as x equal to 1 by 10 of 12 minus y minus z okay and similarly for y what we can write 10y equal to 13 minus 2x minus z so y equal to 1 by 10 of 13 minus 2x minus z also 10z equal to 14 minus 2x minus 2y right then z equal to 1 by 10 of 14 minus 2x minus 2y you got right similarly we have done like this see x equal to 1 by 10 to 12 minus y minus z y equal to 1 by 10 13 minus 2x minus z and z equal to 1 by 10 14 minus 2x minus 2y okay then what we have to do here uh, in question what it has given x0 equal to 0 y0 equal to 0 and z0 equal to 0 right so what we have to do we have going for first iteration we are going for first iteration iteration 1 in iteration what we have to do nothing but x1 is equal to 1 by 10 of what is the x here 1 by 10 of 12 minus y minus z here in for x1 we will write y0 z0 and for y1 we will write x0 z0 and for z z1 we will write x0 y0 but the values of x0 y0 z0 are 0 0 0 so 12 minus 0 minus 0 13 minus 0 minus 0 14 minus 2 of 0 minus 2 of 0 14 minus 0 okay you got it right yeah now let us substitute this 12 minus 0 minus 0 nothing but 12 by 10 that is 1 by 2 y1 is equal to 1 by 10 13 minus 2 of 0 minus 0 that is equal to 1.3 13 by 10 is 1.3 similarly z1 equal to 1 by 10 of 14 minus 2 of 0 minus 2 into 0 so 14 by 10 is 1.4 so similarly let us go to iteration 2 iteration 2 for iteration 2 we for x2 
so iteration one is x one iteration two is x two in x one uh, in iteration one what we have done uh, in place of this x and y values we have written x zero and y zero so in place of x two we will write in place of x one uh, x one and y one the values of x one and y one x one and z one like that okay so here we have substituted x zero and y zero values here we will substitute x zero uh, x one and y one values okay you got it right one by ten the equation is twelve minus x minus y twelve minus y minus z sorry 12 minus y minus z so 12 12 minus 1.3 minus 1.4 okay 12 minus 1.3 minus 1.4 that is equal to 12 minus 1.3 minus 1.4 is nothing but here minus 1.3 and minus 1.4 is minus 2.7 so 12 minus 2.7 is 9.3 12 minus 2. See minus 1.3 plus minus 1.4 is minus 2.7 and 12 minus 2.7 is 9.3 by 10. So it is nothing but 0.93. Okay. And y2 equal to 1 by 10 of what is the y? Y 1 by 10 minus 13 minus 2x minus z right? 13. Minus two of what is the x one value here one point two. Minus what is the z uh, here what is it x and z, uh, z right. So thirteen minus two into one point two. Minus what is the z value one point four. So you can get nine point two by ten. That is zero point nine two. Similarly for z two, one by ten, fourteen. Minus two into one point two. See x value is two one point two. That way, minus two into one point three. Here you will get nine by ten. Okay, and it is zero point nine. As I have, as I have already done this mathematics mathematics, so you just have to do addition and subtraction here to get nine, and you can check it. Okay, iteration three. So how many iterations we have to do? Three, right? So it is the last iteration. That is x three. So for x three, what we have to write? We have to substitute the x two values, y two and z two values. X three equal to one by twelve into thirteen minus zero point nine two minus zero point nine. So what it will be? One point zero one eight. After solving this, you will get ten point one eight by ten is one point zero one eight. Okay. And for y three, ten my ten of one by ten of thirteen. So it's twelve. Thirteen minus two into zero point nine three minus point nine. You here you will get one point zero two four. And z three equal to one by ten of fourteen minus two into zero point nine three minus two into zero point nine two. What you will get? One point zero three. Here you check. You can check one point zero eighty zero one eight is similar to one, and one point zero two four is similar to one, and one point zero three is nearly equivalent to one. So we have done. What is the what is the question? What we have to do in the question according to the question? Uh, using initial guess x zero y zero and z zero. Okay. Perform three iteration. We have done three iteration of Gauss Jacobi method. Yes, this is the Gauss Jacobi method. In Gauss Jacobi method, we will use the initial guess as x zero equal to zero, y equal to zero, z equal to zero. And for Gauss Seidel, what we have to do? We will be discussing in the next video. And after that, what is this Gauss Jacobi method? And discuss the convergence with exact solution x equal to one. We have got the similarly like x equal to one, y equal to z, uh, and z equal to one, right? Yeah. So this is the answer solution for the Gauss Jacobi method. So, so in the next video, uh, we will discuss about Gauss Seidel method. So I am uploading uh, the answers in uh, in the description. So please go and check there. The PDF will be available in the description. So thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you so much.